it follows that we should mature personally as well, individually, rising above any mechanical function without feeling routine, to the heartfelt discipleship articulated by the Savior at the conclusion of his earthly ministry. As he prepared to leave his still innocent and somewhat confused little band of followers, he did not list a dozen administrative steps they had to take or hand them a fistful of reports to be filled out in triplicate. No, he summarized their task in one fundamental commandment, love one another. This newly announced priesthood and Relief Society ministering concept will include, among other things, some of the following elements. We will no longer use home teaching and visiting teaching language. The primary purpose in this ministering idea will be to watch over the people and nourish them with things pertaining to righteousness. We will continue to visit homes as possible. In addition to whatever schedule you establish for actual visits, that calendar can be supplemented with telephone calls, written notes, texts, emails, video chats, conversations at church meetings, shared service projects, social activities, a host of possibilities in the world of social media. However, I should stress that this expansive new view does not include the sorry statement I recently saw on an automobile bumper sticker. It read, If I honk, you've been home taught. <laughs> we want more care and concern, not less. We want more care and concern, not less. We want more care and concern, not less. Motivated only by the pure love of Christ. With this newer, more gospel-based concept of ministering, I feel you starting to panic about what counts on the report. Well, relax, because there isn't any report. The only report that will be made is the number of interviews leaders had with the ministering companionships in the ward that quarter. Because this report is different from anything you've submitted in the past, let me stress that we at the church headquarters don't need to know how or where or when you make contact with your people. We just need to know and care very much that you do make it and that you bless them in every way that you can. Our prayer today is that every man and woman and our older young men and young women will leave this general conference more deeply committed to heartfelt care for one another, motivated only by the pure love of Christ, motivated only by the pure love of Christ, motivated only by the pure love of Christ.